with the original i3 f bmw aimed to apply its engineering prowess in unconventional ways not just with weight saving construction techniques that mated a carbon fiber composite passenger cell to a mostly aluminium chassis but also with eco-friendly elements such as natural fiber cabin finishes leather seats and with an olive oil extract a key fob made of a castor oil based polymer and hemp reinforced interior plastics the driving experience wasn't exactly forgotten but it played second fiddle to the feel good sustainability overtures highs tech rich and handsome cabin predictable handling great brakes lows garish exterior sometimes boomy range extender two flavors of range anxiety fast forward nearly 5 years and the present reality is that the i3's sales have been well short of original expectations and downright lackluster in contrast to the rabid demand for the new Tesla Model 3 BMW targeted Tesla with the original i3 launch Munich sense to stoke interest it seems is to step back a bit and embrace traditional BMW dynamic virtues this the new for 2018 i3 s tested here that lower case s denotes some extra kick in the form of a higher output motor in this case 184 horsepower and 199 lbft of torque 14 ponies and 15 lbft more than in the standard i3 wider tires fender flares and a lower ride height improve the curbside stance and hint at the stiffer suspension tune inside drivers will find something that has been missing from the i3 lineup all along a sport mode there's an attractive facelift to many of the gyms and surfaces and our test car wore a coat of bright purposeful $550 melbourne red metallic paint not ludicrous after track testing and hundreds of miles of city and highway driving we still won't call this race here i3 s exhilarating but it is incrementally quicker and faster too by the numbers and noticeably zippier from the driver's seat The i3 S suite tested was the Rex version, which means it had the additional range extending 38 horsepower, 647 cc twin-cylinder engine tucked under the rear cargo floor. It weighs 274 pounds more than an i3 S without the gasoline fueled engine. The power boost pairs the 0 to 60 mph time to 6.8 seconds. versus 7.2 seconds for the last i3 rex we tested a 2017 model that's still far from class leading performance among us the chevrolet bolt if accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and the tesla model 3 not yet available in its highest performance skies needs only 5.1 But the i3 s solidly outruns the latest nissan leaf 7.4 seconds as well as the volkswagen e-golf keep in mind that i3 models without the range extender are quicker without the mass holding them back we've seen the on's i3 dash to 60 miles per hour in 6.6 seconds and an i3 s clocked 6.3 This 2018 i3 S did the quarter mile in 15.3 seconds at 93 miles per hour, which is 1 mile per hour faster than our observed top speed of the standard i3 Rex. The i3 S tops out at 100 miles per hour by keeping the same gear ratio as only one, but allowing a higher peak motor speed, 11,900 revolutions per minute versus 11,400, with new tapered roller bearings for the motor. The tires are sized 17555R20 in front and 19550R20 out back, which are large only by comparison to the base models front 15570R19S and rear 17560R19S. They still bristolic appears, engineered for low rolling resistance more than traction, but this car's road holding, measured at 0.84 grams on the skid pad was well beyond the 0.77 grams of grip the standard i3 generates the golf recorded 0.82 grams braking was a consistent and consistently good 163 feet from 70 miles per hour that's a huge improvement over the 184 feet it took to stop the 2017 i3 rex we tested and it's also much better than the 181 foot stops recorded by the VW e-Golf and the Chevy Bolt as before 
the i3 offers drivers the choice among Comfort, Eco Pro, and Eco Pro Plus driving modes, but the i3s also adds the aforementioned Sport mode. The dampers aren't adaptive, so this mode simply dials up a more aggressive tune for how the motor responds to the accelerator, and it also makes the steering slightly heavier. Given the overboosted nature of the steering in the other modes, this is where the calibration should have been all along. Still a city car the i3s is in its element in the city, occupants sit upright, with great forward visibility. Punchy and instantaneous response from the electric motor, predictable regenerative braking you can minimize your use of the brake pedal if you anticipate the driver train's retardation, precise steering, and good body control all make the i3s great for the urban autocross. At 75 miles per hour, however, it's quite different, the steering still feels a bit too touchy even in sport mode, as crosswinds can create unease, and the narrow front track tends to induce drama lining. But any impressions of instability are countered when you press the i3s harder and closer to its dynamic limits. It wouldn't be our first choice for entertainment on tall and country roads, but it can cope well enough for an upright box not only producing more grip but also cornering flatter than the standard i3. In the tightest corners there's a bit of a learning curve, although it's not what you might think for this short wheelbase, rear-wheel drive car with a strong rearward weight bias. Oversteer is not on the dry pavement bill of fare, and front grip remains in short supply. Given the strong, instantaneous response from the electric motor, you have to wait a split second longer than you would with a gasoline-powered car before requesting power, so as to avoid understeer when exiting tighter corners. In Rex form, going with the i3s doesn't have any effect on this green machine's bragging rights. The EPA rates it with a driving range of 97 miles on the 33.2 kWh battery pack, plus another 83 miles with a fill of what amounts to a 2.3-gallon jerry can. The cylinder engine fires up and drinks from that meager supply only when the battery is nearly depleted. There's no mechanical connection between the engine and the drive wheels, so it only plays the role of an onboard generator. Electric vehicles, especially the small Citi car set, tend to shortchange drivers on real world highway range when compared with their published estimates, yet the i3 is an exception. On our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test, the i3s Rex returned 82 mph over 78 miles, then the generator kicked on to the tune of 24 miles per gallon. In a less controlled experiment, one editor coaxed more than 100 miles out of the battery while traveling on the highway at a slightly slower pace before the range extender kicked on. Then, after recharging, we traveled 108 miles, in city and suburban driving, switching between the comfort and sport modes after which the range meter estimated another 21 miles of charge remaining. Range anxiety kept the driver from seeing how far below E he could go. Either way, comparing the two different tests is a pretty good indication that driving an i3 in the city is way more efficient than on a road trip. Off pace on the highway once you've zapped through the electrons of a full charge, the options aren't as bright. Drive the battery's charge down to about 6.5% of capacity and the range extender spins to life, gently at first and barely noticeably, but if you're going up a long grade or in the passing lane, it can get quite boomy as it struggles to feed enough energy into the system. And with the extender's separate range display steadfastly suggesting you can expect only about 70 miles from a full tank, you experience a different kind of range anxiety here requiring a gas stop at least every hour. If you happen to find a CC's format DC fast charger, you can recover an 80% charge in about 30 minutes, but as we found on a drive on I-5 from Portland towards Seattle, they're not spaced quite right to stay in full electric mode without some next-level read time wasting hypermiling dedication. It is designs, on your wallet even after 5 years. The i3's striking styling looks like it was conceived for science fiction movies and design magazines. But with the i3's updates for 2018, this latest model looks to be tucked a little closer to the traditional BMW fold. The only thing that doesn't seem in character for the i3s is the full-width chrome bar across the back, 
something that we'd seek to black out if we owned one. As tested, our i3 SREX cost $58,695, a figure that exceeds what Tesla demanded for its first run of Model 3 sedans. This test car included the Giga World Interior Appearance Package $1,800 in the $2,500 Technology Plus Driving Assistant Package Adaptive Cruise Control and Navigation, plus $300 for blue seatbelts and $750 for parking sensors. BMW's iDrive infotainment system is one of the most seamless for Apple CarPlay connectivity, as it should be when BMW charges $300 for it. Once the phone is paid and CarPlay is enabled, it just works, wirelessly, and is an integrated part of iDrive each time you get back in the car, no barrage of prompts or pop-ups required. Although the i3 might make better sense in Europe, here in the United States it has always felt a little bit like you're missing out on something. Now with the Tesla Model 3, Chevrolet Bolt Ev, and a long list of F soon to arrive presenting more traditional designs, four-wheel doors more passenger space, and perhaps of most value EP estimated driving ranges of more than 200 miles, BMW is smart to focus on its roots as a maker of driver's cars and seeking to find this model's place. And we hope it signals a more drive-in inspired future for the BMW ISA brand.